about how you can roll your dice for your fantasy game, for whatever, on your stream deck, your Elgato stream deck, and push the button, have the die roll appear on the stream deck, and lots of different ways. If you want to do it with exploding dice, you want to do it with roll n number of dice, drop the lowest, you can do it. You want to roll with advantage, you want to roll with disadvantage, you can do it all with this little dice roller that I wrote called Carl's General Dice Roller. And I'm going to show you how to install it. And also this dice roller with some added server and a couple of other little utilities, you can send those dice rolls directly to OBS using a web page or directly into your Foundry VTT game. That's right, your Foundry virtual tabletop. You can press a button on your stream deck, roll a die, and have it appear in Foundry. I will go through all of those and how to do it. So to start off with, we want to get the Stream Deck application installed, and we're going to do that by going to this, my webpage that has the application, and that's at webcommando.com slash Stream Deck, and I'll put the link down in the description as always. And once we get there, we get a web page that looks just like this. Um, and there's two things that I have that you can download. One is the Savage Worlds die roller, which is really designed specifically for the tabletop RPG called Savage Worlds, because it has its own kind of special mechanic, which has exploding rolls, but you also roll an extra die, and you take the highest of the two, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we're going to talk today instead about, about my general dice roller. And my general dice roller lets you roll um, a bunch of different dice uh, in the different styles, all the different styles it supports is there's normal rolling, there's exploding, um, it can count successes, whether it's greater than or less than. It can drop the lower number of die based on um, whatever um, criteria you set. It can keep the highest number of dice. Um, it can reroll if the die is below a certain value. Um, it can roll with advantage and it can roll with disadvantage. And when we go through and look at the UI, the parameter um, in the UI is defined by which one of these you're doing. So if you're doing keep the higher number of dice, the parameter is the number of die to keep. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that when we see it. But So we want to download this application and use it. So right at the bottom down in the download section of the page, we want to download version 1.3, which is the latest that has all the really goodness and includes the um, new communication protocols that are needed so that we can integrate it with OBS and Foundry, everything you need. So that's the one we're going to download. It's the latest. Um, once we have that downloaded, um, we'll download that to our download folder. The only thing we need to do to um, execute it is to double click on that um, item that downloaded. So I got a Mac. Um, Windows is very similar. Um, so we'll have We'll see here that here it is. We can double click on this and jump ahead to um, installing it. I've already installed it, so I don't have to double click on it. But if you double click on it, it will automatically install that. We can get to using it. So in the when you open up the config panel, which is on the Mac, you click on the top menu bar and then configure Stream Deck and you get this page. You have a new little item down here called RPG Dice Rolling. And so we can take and we can roll, do that roll dice, bring it up here. And now we can select how many dice we want to roll, the kind of die, all the way up to a D100. The kind of roll it is, is it a normal roll? Is it that exploding roll? Is it all those different things we talked about? So let's do a normal roll for this one. The parameter for a normal roll, if we look at the web page, says it's the bonus. So let's give ourselves a bonus. Let's make that a plus two. And then we can define the color. Um, that kind of gives you a way to highlight what this is. So all your damage rolls you can make red, all your um, attack rolls you can make blue or um, whatever, uh, whatever color you fancy. So we'll leave this one white. And so now we have this one and we can roll it just by clicking on it. And now we can see that we're rolling our D4. If we change it to... Um, Let's say roll higher, um, re-roll dice below, let's say let's go below a two. So anything, so if we get a one, we're going to re-roll it. So we're never going to get a one. Um, so we can do our dice roll, and we don't have to worry about those darn ones anymore. Um, so that's all it takes. Uh, so let's throw another one in here. This time let's do our d20 with advantage. We're going to roll with advantage. 
And since it's advantage, we're going to make that purple. And so when we roll that die, we're rolling with advantage. You can see that the the odds will probably be it's a little higher than oh four. Ooh, that must have been a low roll <laughs> for our second die. So that's all there's really to it. We set it up. You uh, drag and drop just like you would any uh, other Elgato Stream Deck application or um, icon. Make the change, and you now can dice roll onto your favorite Elgato Stream Deck. Um, the value's there. But is that enough? Do you want to get that out of the system? You want to get it off of your Stream Deck and into something else? Well, then we will tell you how to do that in just a moment. So you want to get your value that we get out of our Stream Deck. We want to get that into another application. Um, so there's two things, two integrations that I've built for you already. First is one that uses a web page. And so since it's a web page, you can incorporate that into OBS if you want for streaming. You could put it up on a screen. You can do whatever you want. Anywhere that you can display a web page um, that can auto refresh, you can use this integration. So to integrate, though, the very first thing we need to do is we need to create a server. And the server's job is to take the values from the Stream Deck role and then hand them over to this other integrated tool, whether it's OBS or the web page used for OBS or whether it's Foundry VTT. Now, creating the server is a little more complicated than just double clicking and download, and that's because it uses a program called Node.js, which is kind of a development platform, which is cross-platform, so you can have it on Linux, Windows, Mac, etc. and that's why I'm using it. But to set it up, um, it takes a few... Uh, commands to make it work. Uh, maybe there's an easier way of doing it, but I am not an expert on Node.js, so there's probably ways of packaging it and doing it differently. So what we're going to do, though, to do it is we are going to go in. Um, we need to create a folder for our server. Um, I already have a server set up that I've run, so this is what it's going to look like at the end when it's all set up right, our server. But we're going to create a new server, and we're going to call this one server2. And so this is an empty directory, nothing there. So we're going to create our server. First thing we need to do is initialize it. Um, actually, the first thing we need to do is download node.js. So to do that, we are going to go in, in our camera desk. It tells us um, all about for, to do this, how we get the module manifest, how we get the, uh, the, um, server so you click here and it'll go to the server page and this walks you through how to install the server um, and set it up and it takes a little bit it's not super easy but there's a link right there and this is webcommando.com slash stream deck slash server dot html um, and we go to the node.js site it's node.js.org we're going to download that application install it make sure it's in the path if you don't know how to do that um, plenty of things online that'll tell you how to put um, applications into your path, into your directory path. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and do this and follow those directions. First thing it wants us to do is npm init. So we're going to do that. So we're going to say npm init. It gives us all these questions. We're just going to answer the default for all of them just by hitting enter. And then I'm going to type yes to say go ahead. And what we find is we find there's now a package.json there. So we go back, and then the next thing it says is we want to install these two packages. npm install web, web sockets. The WS is a web sockets. Um, and then npm install clipboardy. Clipboardy is a clipboard manager. So this little server, when it gets a value from the Stream Deck, it puts it in the clipboard. So you can copy it. So you can basically paste it wherever you want. Um, uh, it may not look, it may look funny because it's going to be a structured format, but it's there in case you want to use it. So let's, um, let's go ahead and we're going to copy this command. It's going to install that. Then we're going to copy this command. That's going to install. So now we have both of those, all those packages. And then the last thing we need to, then the next thing we need to do is take the actual application and save it as index.js because that's going to be our actual program. So I'm going to, I put a little link here that you can click on, get the application. We're just going to copy 
we're going to copy the whole thing from from here. Now here in your favorite code editor of choice, we're going to edit that program so it could be Notepad, it could be whatever it is that you use on your system. We are using Microsoft Visual Code. Um, and so we pasted our software in here. We're going to save it then. So now we can see that we have our servers almost set up. The last thing we need to do according to the web page is we need to make sure that we have this thing called type equals module in our uh, packages.json. So we're going to go ahead and edit that. And we're going to go ahead and copy that, put a comma after the last one, and then we're going to add type equals module here, and we're going to save it. And that is all that's necessary to run our server. So now our server is running. I started it. It's receiving information on port 2555, and it's sending stuff out on port 2556. So if we go back to our... our um, to one of the things we, if we go back to our uh, stream deck and we start pushing numbers, it will uh, not work to start off with because we need to restart the stream deck so that it can connect to the server. So on the Mac, it's very simple. We just quit. And then we start it back up again. On the PC, you'll have to do something different. But now once this is started, it's now connected to the server. So if we go to our dice and we start rolling our dice, the server is receiving that value from our stream deck. So it's just that easy. It's now being received. The server's got it. Next thing we need to do is now once the server's running, stream deck is now connected to it. Now we need to have something to use this information. And let's start off with um, a web page, a simple web page that'll display the role that is suitable for putting into OBS or putting on a big screen or, or whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go back to our web page here, and we go back to our main, and it talks about, um, oh, we got to go to the server. I should have stayed on the server page, because the server page is where, at the end, we talk about it, this example. Um, I provide an example to show how you can do that. So let's go ahead and go to our example. And here's our example app um, web page that will um, do the, what we need it to do. So let's actually go ahead and save that. And we're going to save that to our new server that we created. Um, and we're going to save that. So let's keep the server running for now. And let's open a new, a new finder window. And so we'll go to our, I had the server was on desktop. So we go to our server two. Here's our OBS um, role page example. We're going to have to rename that from text to HTML because it's an HTML page that we want to run now. And we have it, and so now we can start running it. And it gets the roll value. And now as we roll, the new value appears. Rolling our die. And it's just that simple. Um, and so this web page is a web page. It can be used anywhere, in any form, any shape, any way you want, and it will now display. Put it up on a big screen for your role, for your party to see, and when you press the button, the big die roll shows up on a massive monitor of your chosen, choosing. Um, or it can be used in OBS. I am not going to open OBS and add a web page which you can which you can do easily enough and so that you can roll it because that will do that crazy thing where OBS shows the infinite repeatability and it just, I am not going to um, take the chance of trying to do that. But just suffice it to say, this is a web page. Anywhere you can embed a web page, you can embed this and have rolling, rolling, rolling goodness. Okay, so now we've got a server running. We have our Stream Deck software installed, executing, sending values to the server, and we've got a web page that can display those values. 
um, that can be put different places, but we want to get it into our virtual tabletop. The virtual tabletop we're going to use is Foundry. So the Foundry VTT is a great virtual tabletop. It's the one I use. And so now we're going to show how we can integrate our dice roller into that. And it is brain dead simple. So we'll start up our Foundry. What we need to do is go and add on modules. I already have mine here installed, so I'm going to uninstall it. Yeah, let's uninstall it. And then we're going to install the new one. So to install it, we go back to our... So go back to the main Stream Deck page, www.webcommando.com slash Stream Deck. And on this page, under General Dice Roller, it'll say here, if you want to integrate with Foundry to install it, there's an application manifest here. We go and we copy that URL, because this is the manifest. This tells Foundry where to find all the components to the program. We say, install a module. We post it in the manifest URL spot. That's our manifest. We install. And it's installed just like that. And that's all that's needed. So you can see the WebSocket Dicer connector is installed. So we can go to our game worlds. We can load our testing world. Go in as Game Master. Now this is running a local copy of Foundry on my laptop. Um, and it pops up a little box that says, you know, you got to make sure that the server is running before you start Foundry or before you start the Stream Deck application, because without the server, these they don't know who to talk to. They go to talk and they can't find the server. And so they stop talking and say, oh, server's not there. Let's not talk to it. So this is just reminding you to do that every time it starts. And so now we've got, we can start rolling. We can start rolling and having the value appear on our foundry. Let's roll with advantage. Oh, not so great. Uh, rolling with advantage, not so cool. We can do roll here which is rolling with disadvantage. Not doing so hot either. So anyway, we can do our dice roll. Let's roll this d6 though. I really want to roll this d6. So that's 4d6. Keep the highest three. So this is our doing a rolling up our character. So now Foundry, we've got our rolls going into Foundry from our stream deck, super brain simple. What a ride, lots you can do. So you can have the values just appear on your stream deck roll a whole bunch of different styles of roles. You can have it appear in a web page, and that web page can be embedded in OBS, can be embedded into another streaming software, or it can just be shown on a screen. The web page is completely open text, so you can use it as the base of your own page with your own cascading style sheets and tweaks and updates, anything you want to do. And then finally, we integrated it with Foundry a Virtual Tabletop, one of the most popular ones out there. And we can now roll our Stream Deck and get it directly into our virtual tabletop. Um, now, this may work a little bit different if you aren't running the application locally. Um, but uh, if you are a Game Master and you're running your local Foundry or you're running Foundry, you can and you can connect to your local host, um, it should work just fine. So once again, this is Carl. Uh, hope you enjoy rolling your dice and doing it on your Stream Deck. And we will talk to you later. Bye.